Fallout 4 is not a perfect game. There's a lot of people out there that like to make sure everyone knows that and how much better some of the previous Fallouts actually were. Well, in today's video, I'm hopefully going to be able to show you some mods or 10 specifically that could actually improve your Fallout 4 experience. These are going to be 10 quality of life mods, mods that do a variety of different things, but all at the end of the day actually make your experiences in Fallout 4 just a little bit better. This is actually going to be the second iteration of this. I already showed you guys 10 quality of life mods and you'll find that video linked down below. If you haven't checked it out, they're actually using different lists. That video has its own 10, this one has its own 10, but all 20 of those are really going to improve your game. This video is also going to be sponsored by Iconic Tweets. There's going to be some of your favorite tweets from 2017 and years prior on your favorite mugs or stickers. The stickers are fairly inexpensive, as are the mugs, and it's kind of just a funny gag gift to spice up your morning. But with that, let's just jump into the video. Start things off, we have survival options. This is actually going to be the only one I have shown you in the past, but since last time, this actually has gotten a pretty substantial overhaul. With the release of the mod configuration menu, survival options itself has got a lot more functionality. The mod as a whole is allowing you to toggle and change some of the various components of survival mode in Fallout 4, which is probably the best way to experience and play through Fallout 4. Some of my favorite features are being able to turn on and off fast travel, as well as a lot of the other toggleable options, and in addition, actually modify some of the damage configurations. But in this latest update, it actually brought some of the hotkeying to be much more convenient rather than having to add an item to your inventory. Now you can just flat out set a save hotkey. And all around over the past six months, it got a facelift as well as a lot more functionality added in. If you're playing Fallout 4 on survival, download this mod. It's going to give you that functionality you wish you had. And honestly, you could not use it if you don't want to. Then we do have OC Decorator. If you're into the finer details of settlement building, you're going to want to use this mod. This mod will basically allow you to place down any of the miscellaneous objects you do find in Fallout 4, like junk, drinks, ammo, as a static object in settlement mode. So one, it's easier to place, and two, it's not going to be knocked over as you reload the cell or an NPC or companion walks by. This one's definitely not going to be for everyone, but if you like having little details around your settlement, especially if you're using like sim settlements but want to create your own room, this is going to be a great mod for you. You could truly create little custom scenes whether it be a armory or maybe even something like a medic shop without this mod everything would pretty much just be flying around now that you can modify your settlements you need a way to actually get to them and for that we do have journey what journey is going to allow you to do is basically as you set up a supply line in survival you will then be able to fast travel to those settlements i'm using this in pretty much all of my survival playthroughs since i discovered this mod and i think it's a must download i think it should have been something that's in survival by default after you play through survival once you'll realize walking around everywhere in fallout 4 kind of becomes a nightmare. Journey doesn't totally solve this, but it definitely alleviates a lot of this. You still have to walk around a lot of the time, establish supply lines at least one time, and travel to settlements at least one time. But after that, some of those tedious routes like Red Rocket to the castle are very simple, just one click of a button. And honestly, at the end of the day, it saves you a lot of time just wandering about. Then we do have Glowing Animals Emit Light, and this one pretty much does what the title says. Glowing animals in Fallout 4 will now radiate light outside of their bodies. This is going to be dependent on two things. One, the color will be depending on what color that animal is. The ones I'm showing you in the background happen to be the same color, but you could also get red or blue tinted ones. And even beyond that, how much light is emitted, of course, depends on that animal's body size. It's a fairly small change that I think achieves two things. One, you're going to be able to detect these guys in the wild way easier, but two, it's actually going to make them way more formidable. When you see that glow, you're going to know some Something pretty powerful is coming. In the last iteration of this video, I showed you the full dialogue interface. This time I'm showing you the extended dialogue interface. What this is going to allow you to do is have your extended dialogue similar to the other dialogue mods out there, but in addition, there's going to be little icons next to some of the different speech options showing you what they do, whether it be completing a sale, exiting from a conversation, inquiring further. Even beyond that, one thing this mod actually adds in that the other doesn't is functionality for further mods to add in more than four dialogue choices. You may have not known this, I didn't know it, but Fallout 4 by default is actually hard-coded to only have four dialogue choices. So if you're making a mod, you can only have four options in each response. Extended dialogue interface is actually going to overcome that, so it gives mod authors the functionality to add in four or more choices. A few mods have actually taken advantage of this, but all around it's just an improved version of full dialogue interface, adding in more functionality and I think doing the same things just a little bit better. Then we have everyone's best friend. You probably have heard of this, you probably downloaded this, but regardless if you haven't, what this mod is going to allow you to do is actually use dog meat and any other human companion or robot companion in Fallout 4 at the same time. This is actually something Bethesda was planning on including in the game by default and at the last minute didn't. I recently found that out. It truly feels like something that was just meant to be that way. Dog meat's an awesome companion, he's super lovable, but also super basic. The other companions that you actually can talk to do have a lot more depth to them, and naturally just having both of them feels, well, natural. It's something that 
that honestly was almost in the regular game, so it doesn't feel that out of place in the regular game. This mod has also been pretty consistently updated, so it does continue to work and continue to be a major part of many people's playthroughs. Now that you have more companions, what you need next is ability for them to be a little bit more viable. So we do have companion accuracy boost. This is a pretty simple mod, it's all it's going to do is change one variable making companions more accurate when firing at enemies. They're still fairly useless, many of the companions I'm using in the background don't have upgraded weapons so they're not doing a ton of damage, but if you actually take out the time and effort to customize their weapons, give them the ammo for it, they will be way more viable because they will be way more accurate, not missing any of those point blank shots that anyone would make. Then we have you talk too much. What this is going to do is make it so NPCs around you, including companions, talk less. And you can actually configure how much less this is, whether it be 25% less, 50%, 75%, or none at all. As you go and travel through Fallout 4, you'll realize companions just kind of talk as you either trigger events, go near certain locations, or attack enemies. This is going to reduce those lines and make it just occur less. If you played through Fallout 4 a few times in the past, you're going to find these lines get really redundant and repetitive, especially in settlements. Settlements get a little bit annoying because the settlers all say the same things when you craft something or build something. I think this is going to be more so quality of life fix for those of us who are on their third, fourth, or fifth playthrough, but either way, it really has become a must download for me and I've been using it in quite a few of my games. Another one that's a must download for me is Start Me Up. What this is going to allow you to do is kind of customize how you will jump into the game. Rather than having to go through that same repeated intro sequence every single time, you can actually now customize how you will drop into Fallout 4. I've used this on pretty much every survival playthrough I've done ever. The reason for that is the intro of Fallout 4 is long drawn out and kind of tedious. Start Me Up actually has new functionality added over the past six months also. You can now actually choose which level you spawn at, whether it be 5, 15, 25, so you can really get a jump start into the game and also how much gear you want to spawn with. Outside of that, you can actually choose the location. You could spawn out in the distant parts of the map if you really want a truly difficult start, as well as what kind of style of character you're going to be playing, whether it be a medic, so you have a ton of aid supplies, but maybe not the best armor, or survivalist, where you're much more well-rounded. If you're on PC and not using this mod already, you should be. There's an Xbox One variant that isn't quite the same. It does a similar thing, but Start Me Up for whatever reason was taken down off Xbox One, but the alternate start options on there, although not offering as much functionality, still get the job done. Last but not least, we do have Valdekill's item sorting. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. This is one of those mods that I just, I don't know how I missed it for so long. I played through Fallout 4 multiple times without ever using this, and after using it, it's really hard to go back. It will effectively add little prefixes to most of the items in Fallout 4, depending on what they are, whether it be an ammo type and its caliber, or whether it's a junk item, whether it's a key, things like that. It's pretty self-explanatory, but immensely helpful with inventory management, especially towards the later parts of the game, when you have a lot of carry weight and a lot going on in your inventory. Being able to find that one magazine, that one node, or whatever it may be, is made way easier by this mod. And yeah, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful or informative. Again, if you didn't watch the previous version, there's a ton of great mods in that one also. I didn't want to be redundant and include them again, but there's a lot of mods in that video that I'm still using even today in my survival playthrough, so I'd definitely check it out if you're interested in this kind of thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys all next time.